What's up guys? So today we are going to be going over the boss invasion minigame rewards. So basically how it works is whenever you finish a round of the boss invasion minigame, you trigger a, uh, a reward rule. Um, and how the reward rule ro <laughs> re re works is that, you, for example, um, you're always guaranteed to get at least a small reward stash, which is just one loot. You have a 1 in 5 chance of getting a medium, which is 3 loots. And then you have a 1 in 10 chance of getting a large, which is 5 rolls. So that's as simple as it is. It's very simple. There's nothing that goes into it other than just getting lucky and hoping you get a large reward stash. Um, so how a roll looks, uh, there was one roll, and then we should get 3 items. You could possibly get you know duplicates and stuff like that. And then here we should have 5 rolls where, of course, we get a nice Eric's bust. I'll go over that in a little bit. So we have ourselves 100 rolls of the uh, large reward stash, so we should get 500 items. And um, the the chance of receiving an item from the... Let me just show you. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's easier to just show you. So there's everything that is common is on the common table. You have those busts, which I mentioned, which are rare. And then you have the elite items, which are considered very rare. If you go to our and click pins at the top. You will have a couple of random ones um, uh, right here. Uh, so this one here, this is the chance percentage uh, uh, for the uh, rewards. And this applies to most things that are considered boxes and whatnot, and just how I coded it, it's technically a box, but um, since there's no um, uncommon, you really don't have to worry about that. So the chance of a common is basically 77% uncommon. It's a little different when you exclude certain tables so it's not so precise because there's no uncommons. Um, but the uh, very rare item chance is about 6%, and then the chance of getting a bust or a rare is about 5.8%. And that is per individual roll. So um, we get 0.6% chance five times because it's a large reward roll. Um, so basically what that means is the chance of getting a loot from one of these is roughly around 1 in, one in 50. Or from a normal uh, solo, just one loot reward stash, it'd be 1 in 256. Uh, or something along the... I don't know the precise number, but you can see the percentages. So, the chances of getting something good are about 1 in 250. Um, and then, if you do have reward stashes, which, which, which is what we're going to be opening, you have 5 rolls. So, again, I'll just show you what that looks like together. Just a little spammy. It's that simple. So there we go, the last five. Luckily, it's pretty simple to open them since it is just uh, five rewards. Uh, so we ended up getting one uh, item, the Sanguinesti Staff. Sang Sanguinesti. 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 The Sanguinesti Staff. And then we also got two busts, which happen to be the same. Um, there are four different busts. Uh, they are tradable. And whenever you inspect them and you have all four of them, you will um, receive a guaranteed random item of the six. Uh, and they are tradable. There is no other way to exchange them. If you're an Iron Man, don't play an Iron Man. I don't know why. I have to explain to you that Iron Man can't trade. That's the whole thing. So why would you be able to trade if you can't trade? A anyways, I don't want to get in a rant. But uh, yeah, let's go over the loots. Uh, so we've got our... Let me, let me organize it a little better just so it looks visually good. So here we go. A bunch of crystal keys, some sinister keys, nice chunk of bones, random skilling supplies, overscales, a couple of cash bags... Redwood logs, fossils, a couple monkey nuts, blame slither. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Infinity, you get these in uh, nice sets of five, so that's a nice little chunk of cash. Um, got some more cash stabs and just some uh, barrows items, a couple of massages. And then, of course, you have the main items where we got two busts and a Sengrenesti staff. So those are the rewards. I'm going to do another video where I go over all of the... Um, the actual items and sort of sort of like a mini worth it episode on all of them and that'll be out soon so check that out if you want to see more information on what are the actual individual unique rewards but uh, yeah this was just a look from uh 500 reward stash openings or 100 large ones i don't know i don't know what to call this one. <laughs> anyways thanks for watching guys i will see you tomorrow